What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Advanced Shadow Hunter Guide. Due to popular demand and because this class is one of my favorites, even though it's a doo-doo class, I am making a video on how you can get that Cruel Fighter MVP on Shadow Hunter. Yep, you heard me. Two gem class, by the way. You spend five times less gold than everyone else, and with my tips and tricks, you will be so sick and tired of being on that MVP board every single time. Is everybody ready? Oh, and by the way, this is only Demonic Impulse. <laughs> Who even plays Perfect Suppression, am I right? <laughs> All my Demonic Impulse Shadow Hunters, let's get on with the video. I have six things I want to talk about today. And the first one is the most obvious, but I don't see people doing it. Either because there's something wrong with your build, low cooldown gems, low spec, wrong set, wrong bracelets, whatever it could be, three S skills and three A skills is a must. If you don't know if you can do it, just test in Trixian. So, hello, I'm in Trixian. So let me go over to the training grounds and let us meet there. All right, my fellow bozos. So now we're at the Trixian and I'm just going to give myself full gauge. The idea here is just like I just told you. In one demonic transformation, you need to hit three S of skills and three A's of skills. So here, I'll turn this on. Boom, you'll see S, A. You want to make sure you're throwing three of these. So we'll, uh, before your demonic transition is over. So this all depends on what kind of build you're going. Are you going spec swift? Are you going spec crit? You know, what's your bracelet looking like? Let's see, we will go for our second round here. So we already went with two. So now we have about, you know, 30% left. Are we going to hit it? Let's see. Oh, it's also about how, many, how much spec you have. Spec is one of the most important things about Shadowhunter because it will make you stay longer in transformation. But you see here, I was perfectly able to hit three A's and three skills in one demonic rotation. This is a must. You need to do it. And you're probably wondering, oh, maybe I'll miss one S skill or one A skill, big whoop. Yeah, okay. This class is doo-doo. So you need to make sure you are playing perfectly or even a chance of being above average DPS. You won't even be the top of the DPS. A chance at above average. If you're not doing this, make sure you are hitting three A's and three S's in one rotation. I cannot preface it anymore. All right, moving on to the second thing I wanted to talk about is Demon Vision Instant Cast. Or I guess it's called Quick Release. In this, So it's, it's the tripod at the very top here. Quick release will firing duration minus 50%. The old one that normally people use is this one, concentrated release. So let me show you how long it takes to do concentrated release. Ready? Beep. Who wants to sit there waiting to do that? Am I right? Let's do it again. Beep. Ew, disgusting. Am I right? Let's see how it goes with the 50% reduction. Quick release. And also, you don't even need the tripod because it's just level one. Ready? Beep. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Look how much seconds. I don't even know exactly how many seconds it is. I can't be bothered to know how many seconds it is or try. But you guys can go into Trixian and figure it out yourself. How many seconds it took to do the original tripod. And then you just, you know, cut it by half because that's what 50% is. Anyway, if you're not using Demon Vision quick release... What you doing? Cough, cough me. I actually wasn't using it this entire time. But this is a very important thing to do. I just forgot. You shouldn't be forgetting. But anyways, let me go and reference this window right here. So this is the community guide. So if you aren't reading this guide, what are you doing? But if you're not, all good. This is why this video is here. Maybe you want to hear my thoughts. Maybe you want to read it with me. All right, let's let's read it together. So demonic impulse. So thank you so much to Nat, Shandamon, Sequa, 
and eighteen, 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 not eighteen, guys, eighteen noodles. Okay, I, I'm, I'm delaying a little bit. Okay, let's let's be serious for a second here. Okay, you can either go on your break split spec crit or spec swift. This is because there are different ways of playing Shadow Hunter. There's the highest damage build that you can get, and there's the lowest damage build. And as you might expect, since there's three builds, there is also the middle of the pack. And you can see it right here. So if you want to go for the highest damage possible on Shadow Hunter, which you probably should do, then you should go Hallucination with a Spec Crit Necklace. Not Spec Swift, Spec Crit. Highest theoretical damage, you'll get consistent crit rate, yes, because of Hallucination, but you lose Salvation, Attack Speed, and Cooldown Reduction. That's why you need to have a high level cooldown gem 9 plus now you should already have a 9 plus cooldown gem if you don't have you know a 10 9 minimum what are you doing make sure your gems are level 10 damage that's a must and then for cooldown at least a level 9 preferably level 10 because like i mentioned in the first point getting that 3 a's and 3 s skills are really important and a level 10 cooldown gem does help with that especially when you have the hallucination crit build now the second build here is the salvation build so this is a lot more relaxed than this first build and the reason why is just like i mentioned salvation gives you attack speed and cooldown reduction so you don't need to be all clunky and slow i mean you're not going to be clunky and slow anyway but it's less of that because with the salvation stacks you'll be able to attack a lot faster so, yes, you will get slightly less damage with this build, but it's a perfectly good option if you are good at not getting hit. If you are constantly getting hit and getting down to low HP, Salvation Set is gone. So that's a huge risk. But here as well, comparable damage with crit synergies. You, you definitely need some crit synergies with Salvation. And uh, cooldown reduction. So you need a high level 9 cooldown gem plus. Now the third and final one is what I used to do. So I never did Salvation Crit. I always did Hallucination Swift, and then I moved up to Hallucination Crit. This is because I always had a level 7 cooldown gem, and I recently, or not recently, but like a few months ago, like 6 months ago, I leveled it up to a level 9. So, Hallucination Swift means that you will take a Spec Swift bracelet. You're like, wait, then won't you not have any crit? Yeah, but it's more easy to play. Right, Because you have that swiftness, so you will be much more relaxed. You'll be so much faster. You'll be able to throw your skills much easier. But you may see lower crit numbers and damage numbers in general. So it is really up to you what you should pick for gear set. I think we talked a little too much about this. But make sure you are choosing whatever gear set and sticking with it. So I think there's links to each set, right? Uh, let's see. I don't know where it is, but if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see here, build, salvation, crit. It'll tell you everything you need to go. Spec crit with a spec crit bracelet. Hallucination swift, spec swift with a spec crit bracelet. And then hallucination crit with a spec crit, spec crit bracelet. Does it make sense? All right. Now that we know that, what am I trying to say here? The demon vision instant cast. That is the next thing. So we got a little sidetracked, but this is the next thing and very important. Because remember, you'll be saving half of the time it takes to throw out your demon vision. So here are the breakpoints, specialization breakpoints for if you can use the quick release tripod. So yes, if you haven't done it at your sea bounties yet, you will not be able to do this as long as you know, or, or if you have enough spec, then you can. But if you don't, then you probably need to go for the regular build the one with the concentrated release so make sure you get the sea bounty so that you can get comfortably right here and with the two epic wealth runes you only need 1767 specialization that's all are we good so make sure you check to get that other than that let's just keep moving on to number three so let's go back to the lost arc page here uh, not page, but the screen. All right. The third thing I wanted to talk about is the demonic clone animation cancel. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Demonic clone. 
So this is what it looks like originally. Pretty long, right? And and I'll show you why it's long and, and annoying. Because while it's long, you cannot move. So I'm going to spam click my movement skill while this thing is active. Ready? You see how I don't move? That's because I'm animation locked. Now, how do you combat this? Well, thanks for asking. So what you should do is spacebar. So yes, you can animation cancel your demonic clone by using spacebar. Now, this is super rap behavior because let me show you real quick. Okay. It doesn't, it's not that big of a difference from this. That, right? It's pretty fast to this. Let me see. <laughs> Let me hope that I can do this correctly. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Ah! There we go. That That's the timing. Okay. So if you didn't notice already, yes, it is slightly faster, but it is very risky because if you miss it, then oops, right? So what happens is with your demonic clone, you will hit two big slams, right? One, two. The thing is, you can use your space bar to cancel the skill, but still apply the second slam while the second slam is winding up. So like so winding up and then you can space bar. See, that was a little late, but you can even go earlier. Kind of like, right? Like that. You see that? As I'm charging my second slam, I'm also space barring. It's very, very minuscule detail. I mean, if you want to play to the maximum potential, this is why I'm saying this is an advanced guide. And and to be honest, there's not much else to stay. So this is something to, you know, master, I guess. Right here. Like that. Boom. Look at that. It's pretty quick. Other than doing... Uh, do, do, right? Like, come on, guys. Anyway, do it if you want. But... I feel a little bad, so let me add a bonus. Okay, there is a bonus time. Actually, you guys don't even need a bonus. Who needs a bonus anyway? Plus, there is something on the tip of my mind that I can't even remember right now. So if I remember it, I will say it. But otherwise, let's move on to number four. Number four is abuse the paralysis immunity. So yes, while you are in demonic form, right? It doesn't say it. I, I Maybe it does here. Mm, no. Oh, it does. Ignore immunity right here. Demonize. So you will be able to immune all paralysis. And what does paralysis mean? So for the boss, it means anything that the boss does that makes you flinch, basically. Just, uh, uh, right? It's not the one where you get knocked down. For example, if you're getting knocked down, that is called push immunity. Unfortunately, you can still get knocked down on the demonized form, but you will not be the uh, uh, uh part. Are we all clear with that? So why do I mention this? It's because, like I mentioned, remember, you are a doo-doo class. You need to make sure you are playing perfectly. Maximum uptime. You cannot ever for a second not be hitting this boss. Otherwise, there's no point. You need to hit this boss. So that is probably why it's a very good idea to constantly hit the boss, no matter what. So as long as you're safe, right? As long as it's a paralysis immune skill, just just hit the boss. Who cares? Just hit it. Just tank it all. Hopefully your support will shield any massive damage that it might do. As long as it's not a push immunity or a push skill, you're fine because you don't need it. All right, let us go to number five. The so number five is use your Q, R, and A skill to reposition. This is also good for dodging abilities as well. Don't waste too much time moving your character. Again, you are a doo-doo class. You need to hit the boss constantly. I cannot say this anymore, right? So let's say you're here, right? And you really need to go to the back because the support put the buff in the back or back is the safe spot or whatever, right? You can easily do that with A. Ta-da. You can do that with R. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit like this. 
It takes some skill. So, ta-da, like that. Or with Q. Ta-da. Right? You need to make sure you're using your skills as mobility skills in order to be effective. Now, that's really important. This is probably the most helpful advice that I will say in this video. So you need to understand how to play your class, right? Most people, I'm not, not going to take the time to do that. Most people will just assume that like Q is your mobility skill. No. And a lot of people will think Q and A are your mobility skill. No, you actually have one more. You have R. I mean, you technically have W too, but it, it doesn't move you that much. It, it's very minuscule. So you, you can use W, but it's not going to move you as much as, you know, a Q or an R or an A, right? All of these three skills, A, R, and Q, will reach you to your destination, while, uh, what is it, W? Well, not really. So that's why I only consider Q, R, and A. Make sure you're doing this because I promise you, I use it all the time too, and it's really helpful. Like I said, it also helps with dodging. Let's say you are here, right? But there's about to be like a, in Behemoth, there's going to be a water puddle that spawns. You could just use R and run away from it while you are hitting the boss instead of doing, oh, there's a water puddle. Let me walk over here. Okay, now I can DPS. That's a waste, right? Either use your A to reposition here to dodge it, Q to reposition a way out of there, or use your R to get out of there. Use either one of those three to make sure you guarantee yourself out of, uh, uh, to go to safety. Are we all clear with that one? Again, you are doo doo class. You have to make sure you have almost 100% uptime. If you use DPS test on this Trixian, that number should equal what you do in a real raid. It just has to. You must. Maybe even higher because of support buffs, but you, you know what I mean. Just do that. Okay, and the sixth and final one, because I, I can't remember the last tip. Maybe you guys can, you know, suggest your tips as well. And one of them will be the one that I was thinking of. But number six, refresh your synergy skill. Now, this is really obvious, but not really. Because there are a lot of Shadowhunters out there. And I'm really disappointed because I love Shadowhunter. I would love to take Shadowhunters, but they get such a bad reputation. Not only because they are a bad class, but because the people that play it aren't playing it very well. So it's a double whammy. Make sure to play your class really well so that, you know, people will be surprised and be like, hey, wait a second. I thought Shadowhunter was bad, but actually this guy was getting Cruel Fighter MVP. Holy crap. You know, let's get more of that kind of mindset. So refresh your synergy skill. I do not want to see anything less than 99%. And, and this is not even a joke because it is extremely easy to hit it. You have so many skills in your arsenal. You know, you have to, as long as you have the correct uh, tripods, you have demonic slash. Your howl gives you a 15 second window where you don't even need to apply it. So uh, realistically, you should be near 99 plus all the time. And then in transform, your Q and your W will give you the same thing. But there's really no reason for you to have anything less than 99. I'm being dead serious here. You should have near 100% synergy. Are we all clear with this? All right. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this advanced Shadowhunter guide. I know it took a little bit longer than expected. But hey, I hope you all enjoyed this time with me. I certainly enjoyed making this video. If you guys like the video, for my pineapple gang... Make sure to comment, I don't know, doo-doo. Let's just say doo-doo, right? Because I've been saying doo-doo all day. This is a doo-doo class. Just type doo-doo in the comments sections. All right, guys. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.